Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus NH42SO4. This is strontium chloride, and we have ammonium sulfate. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. So this is the molecular equation, and when I look at this, I can see that I have an ammonium ion here. Actually, I actually have two of them and only one over here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium chloride. That balances these ammonium ions. Now I have two chloride ions. That's good. We have that there. Strontium, strontium. And then we have our sulfate and our sulfate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. That looks like this. We know that chlorides in general, they're very soluble. And anything with the ammonium compound in it, that's going to be soluble. So those are all going to be aqueous dissolved into their ions. But strontium sulfate, in general, these sulfates, they're soluble. But there are a few exceptions, and barium sulfate, strontium sulfate, calcium sulfate, those are insoluble, or a very small amount dissolves. Because of that, when these substances react, this is a precipitate. This will fall to the bottom of the test tube. So once we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So I split up everything except the solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So everything else we split into its ions. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants, I see I have two of these chloride ions. And in the products, these are spectator ions. Cross those out. Two ammonium ions. And then again in the products, two ammonium ions, spectator ions. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus ammonium sulfate. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus NH42SO4. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus, so that adds up to a net charge of 0. Over here, we have a neutral compound, net charge of 0. Charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus ammonium sulfate. Thanks for watching.